and on the track with just four laps to go. A world record attempt in the women's two mile. Gina Jacobs, the current record holder, but Ethiopia's Meseret Defar, who set a world record at the 5,000 meter distance last year in June in New York, certainly capable and out there for forging the pace on her own. Let me uh, update everybody here. The IAAF will probably call this a world best because it's so infrequently run. They recognize the mile as a, as a world event, but in the imperial distances, that's it. And look at the, the margin she has right now. Look at that shot, a relationship shot. She has a good 100 meters, maybe 125 meter lead on the rest of the pack, and it's got many top Americans. There's only one other woman that is in the class that this woman is as a distance runner on the track, and that is her countrywoman, Tarunish Dababa. And she's getting great support from the fans here as she just trucks on alone. Mezzi Defar is just almost incomparable. Her performance last year at the Reebok meet, breaking the world record for 5,000 meters, was voted by experts in the sport as the finest woman's performance in track and field in the world last year, and she was number two ranked as the top woman in the world. Well, just moments ago, we had a, an attempt by Jen Stusinski to become the first American to clear 16 feet. Only one woman's ever done it. It's the world record holder, Yelena Isinbayeva, the Olympic champion, world champion. Stusinski trying to get into that rarefied atmosphere, having already cleared an American record, 15, 10 and a half. And she got her hips up there, but it might take a little bit more practice until she gets to that level. Let's get back now to the track where Defar continues to press her advantage and, and stretch her lead. Right, she had help in the first mile with Rabbits going by in 215 for the first 880 yards, then a 435 mile she threw in. And Defar is closing in here now with just a couple of laps to go. And is warmed up a little bit here, but not so badly that she's uncomfortable being from Ethiopia. She goes in uh, just about uh, just under seven minutes with two laps to go. Remember the world record 9-11-97. She stays with this pace. She is going to be under it. She is, She's. I think, just accelerated. She came by with two laps to go. I watched the leg turn over. She kind of bolted into the lead a bit after letting the pace sag during those two laps after the first mile. Rest of the pack, Sarah Hall is right up there, and there's a very cool, good core of American runners. Now about maybe 140 five meters behind Mezzi Defar's effort for a world record. And as you'll recall, we were actually off the air at the Reebok Grand Prix meet last summer when she went after that 5,000 meter record. The conditions pretty ideal. It had been raining, it was cooler temperatures, the wind dropped down, and she pretty much did a solo effort there. It was the performance of the year for track and field on the women's side. To put things in perspective, here are some people who have tried to assault this two-mile record. As we look at the crowd and the Ethiopians really standing and cheering her, waving the flag as she comes up to one to go. Here are some women in the top six or seven ranked in the world at two miles. Paula Radcliffe, nine minutes, 32 seconds. The great Zola Peterson Budd was fifth ranked. Amy Rudolph, and I say Sonia O'Sullivan, the great Irish runner, has the second fastest time at 9.20. This woman trying to get under 9.10 or so, and she is accelerating down the backstretch is Mezzi Defar. Now Larry Scher, her penultimate lap was uh, quite a bit slower. She drew in about a 69 second lap. She's got to go under 63 seconds on this final 400 to dip under Regina Jacobs's world record. She appears to have the leg turnover, but does can she keep it up this next 200 meters? I think she can. She'll actually accelerate. 200 meters to go, Dwight. This woman has run the last lap of a 5,000 meter race in Europe in 56 seconds. Astounding speed. It's almost a man's type of speed. She's 5'1", just 93 pounds, 23 years of age. The crowd on its feet just ripping applause. 9'11", 97 is what we're looking for, and she's going to be very close. She's got to keep driving to the finish line. 907, 908, 909. She's done it. 9-10, 47, she breaks the record by a second and a half. An outstanding last lap right around 62 seconds. And so hard must that be to do that pretty much alone for the last four and a half laps. You know, I said to her, you had such a tough season last year. You trained so hard. You were so highly ranked uh, in the world. And did you take a break? And she said, I took only two weeks off late in the fall, and I kept up my training. She said, I really enjoy it. And her English has just improved dramatically. She's got a twinkle in her eye, and she is one classy lady. Let's watch her come down the home stretch. I thought her speed and her strength would, would carry her to 
to this record, and it, she was actually closer to it than I thought she would be, but she got it by more than one second, did Mezzi Dafar, who came all the way from Ethiopia to tackle this event. Second world record in a little less than a year for Dafar, and obviously in great shape going into the world championships later this summer. Megan Metcalf of Canada getting second, some 27 seconds after Defar, and then the U.S.'s Amy Goucher third. But it was all Mesret Defar, another world record for 60, the Ethiopian. Right, 62 seconds for her last lap. Outstanding, and we've still got more sprints to come when we return. <laughs> 